All right, so I'm doing the screen capture so you can see come, some of the words are uh, cut off because I'm only doing part of the screen. So um, you're not missing much. You're just missing the top part of some letters at the top of the screen, but I'm pretty sure you can make those out. <laughs> All right. Uh, so you awaken disoriented, slumped over the base of an empty cryo sleep pod. Still damp from cryo fluid. That sounds gross. Thick dust from the floor clings to your skin, leaving a clean spot on the ground where a large number five is painted. So, so I'm here, right here. See, number five. Across the room, there's an open door in a hallway and a broken window leading to the outside. Just as you gather your wits, an unearthly screen erupts from down the hall beyond the doorway. Something is coming fast! All right. <clears throat> Um, so now I get to uh, choose something. So you can use these skills right here. Uh, I'm going to use hacking. Boop. And then, uh, so this is like your combat or like your your uh, movement turn or whatever you want to call it. And uh, this is the option you're choosing to use. And then you hit confirm, like so. And then something happens using a common maintenance override code. The switch, you switch the door controls into maintenance mode, forcing the door closed and locked. The creature howls madly, slams into the door, and rams it a few times before it is before its muffled sounds recede again. So, good choice, Eric. It's not like it's it's as if you've played this game before. Okay, so I like this game a lot. It's pretty cool. The thing that made me stop playing. But then eventually, by the the uh, the full version, um, was uh, that I, I okay. So the things I like about this game is that it's like text, and you have all the background environmental music and stuff. And uh, this this sort of strange interface is pretty cool too. Reminds me of games like um, everything. Really reminds me of old adventure games. Um, from Sierra and, uh, you know, um, uh, stuff like that as, as well as games like XCOM, which was that a, no, that was, that was an EA game back when they were called electronic arts, I believe, right? No, that was Microprose. Yeah. The, uh, do they even, I don't think they exist anymore. <laughs> That's how old I am. All right. So let's, uh, let's. So I'm standing in the room. Apparently I'm the only survivor. So I can search the console for records or I can climb out the window. I'm going to do the console. Hit confirm. And then, uh, okay. I guess I'm looking at the other people and there I am, Philip Kindred. Hmm. It's pretty close to my birthday. And I guess we're in Detroit. Unless this facility just transfers all their people to from Detroit to here. Alright, cool. Great data. Uh, apparently nothing. Because these are the only options you can do. Uh, and there's no skill stuff, so you can't search or anything like that. Which kind of sucks, because... I don't know. It'd be kind of neat if you could grab some other stuff in here maybe like electrical wires or whatnot but alas we cannot so we'll just leave the window and go outside yay we're outside you decide to go outside and you see if you can figure out where you are avoiding the broken glass you step into the sill and outside rustling some plants that have grown wild in the area it's cool outside and damp probably morning the distant how convenient the distant report of gun, of a gun catches your attention. You cock your head, listening, but it's over as quickly as it started. Obviously, you're not alone out here, though that doesn't necessarily comfort you. Hopefully, you can't hear my text message noise. Confirm. You're in the parking lot of Gigas Cryo Facility. Sorry, I, I can't really pronounce or read stuff very good and stuff. So if, if anything is sp said wrong, then um, don't kill me in the comments. 
but everything looks disused and in disrepair. Plants have pushed their way through the pavement and over the facility. Worst of all, nothing looks familiar. You don't remember this place or even who you are. Your frustration amounts, but you catch it, but you catch it and put it in check. Might as well take a look around. I don't know if I'd, uh, I'd have that same response. I'd probably freak out. Okay, so uh, it looks like the myopia thing was incorrect. So maybe that's something different from the um, uh, from the uh, demo, but uh, yeah. Okay, so we have these little spyglass things, and those mean that you can uh, scavenge in this area. I believe is what it means. So we will scavenge. Um, we can go, and then you select where you want to scavenge. So if I was in like a a forest tile or something, it would have like a little forest over here. And then you just select on that, uh, and then it hit confirm. Um, so I am searching the facility now. Despite the high tech appearance, the facility seems to be tucked away in the wilderness, out of sight. This bodes well. For the chances of finding something of value or even shelter provided uh, provided nothing else has set up shop here with the same idea so i'll use my medic skill and see what i can get Ooh, looks like i got something all right so uh now we go to the um the inventory screen essentially what it is there's my little guy so I have a, a hospital gown, and I have some sort of bronze talisman in braided leather, and a little wristband that says Philip Kindred. That's me. Oh, cool. I can pick up shards of glass. Okay, so... Um, I got this first aid kit, and there's stuff inside of it. So I can drag it over to my hands, drop it down. These are my hands, obviously. And then it also shows what's inside here. So I got some, I got eight. Is that what that says? Eight clean rags. There, if you have, if you have sight problems or can't read small font, well, uh, good luck on you. I think there's an option to change the size of stuff in the, um, in the um, settings UI. So check. Uh, this has prescription antibiotics and it looks like there's three pills in there so that's good uh we got some painkillers with nothing in it awesome and uh prescription antibiotics with nothing in it so we got <laughs> eight clean rags and three prescription antibiotics yippee better not get hot all right so um the cool thing about this is there is four little squares to put in here so that means I have four squares left. The crappy thing is that I can't make it my backpack. <laughs> so we'll just take these shards and drop them in ya. Oh, I just put one in my hand. Okay, um, let's see if we can combine more. Okay, five is the top thing that you can have in here, I guess, for shards. Different stuff has different groupings. I think it's, I don't know. It just depends on what it is. Whoop. All right, we'll, we'll just keep those in there for now. Well, maybe we can use them as a, as a knife or something. So we'll, we'll put one of our one in our hands and one in the case that we now have. So I can open back up this thing right here. So you got your different main maps. This is the total world. I'm moving this with my uh, with my keyboard. Um, so that's the total world, and obviously we haven't searched very much left or yet. Um, whoops, and it centered me over the empty abyss. Okay, so. Now we're back at the mini-map. This is where you mostly control your stuff. You can open up your skill thing and look at your stuff that I selected earlier. This is your crafting menu. Um, it's kind of similar to... Um, 
it's kind of similar to Minecraft in a way, or I guess um, more like Seven Days to Die, which I haven't played, but I've been watching um, Game Society Pimp's version of Seven Days to Die, which is hilarious if you have not seen it. It's on YouTube on Game, Supi Game Society Pimp's channel. So go there, look at that. It's hilarious. Um, so you have all this other stuff, all the stuff apparently that I can look at and make. And some stuff, it will automatically populate over here if you have it. But if you don't, then it won't. Uh, at least that's how I remember. We'll find out as we go. But here it shows everything that is in the vicinity of where I'm sitting or where I'm at. Uh, on the screen and also um, all my skills and uh, it's the stuff that I have in my hand. This is like a, a more column, obviously. Uh, and this is your, like, this is your combined area. This is your output area. So right now we don't have anything in there. So this is your item screen. Again, what is in the area around you? So in the hex, in the hex that you're in and whatnot. And then what's on your body. Uh, this is the medic thing, so when you start getting damaged and whatnot, you'll see uh, we're getting damaged. You can hover over the um, thing and uh, the the damage point and see more information about what's going on. It comes up as a floating menu. This is a campsite thing. So I could set down and camp here, but uh, I don't have anything. So... Uh, I just get sleep. <laughs> if I had better stuff, obviously, I, I hope that you get tents and whatnot. Then if you get a tent, then your shelter goes up. Um, if you have a sleeping bag, then your sleep goes up and your shelter goes up a little bit and also healing and whatnot. Um, so right now I have nothing. I have a hospital gown, which is not good. And then this is your vehicle. I assume since there's a little El Camino here or, yeah, we'll say it's an El Camino. Um, you can get cars eventually. The, the classiest ride that I got was a uh, shopping cart. So I was a homeless man of the wastes. Okay. All these jab jobbies over here. These are my, uh, moves left. So like I said before, you have like time units or whatever. And each, each movement takes part of your turn. Uh, combat's a little bit differently, different, but like as nor uh, as you're uh, walking around in the hex field, like you're, uh, you know, do whatever. Uh, hunger. And these are just like any other survival game. So as these go down, uh, they change color, and you know, further you, or closer you get to death. Um, thirst, resting, unburdened. That is how much you're carrying. Um, comfortable, which is uh, goes down as time goes on. If you're um, wearing bad clothes for outside and the temperature and uh, yada yada yada, you'll see. Um, you know that that goes down. Uh, outside temperature, and this is your, I guess, like health. I assume that's like your HP. Um, so these are different cursors, so you can select this thing. Uh, let's see if it pops up. On the... Okay, I guess I have to push the buttons. So if you go on your keyboard, you can change it to a take drop. So that automatically like, switches between the thing. So see, I'm dropping it. So I don't have to drag it across. And I picked it up. Yay, I picked it up. Okay, um, uh, two is use, so you hold that down and you uh, hit uh, like an item that you want to use. So if I wanted to use the prescri prescription jugs, then I um, go to this and I click on them and then use them. Uh, three is destroy, so if I just want to get rid of something or don't want to drop it on the ground, then you can just click on it and destroy it. I'm not going to do it with something, but you know. Oh, and then I can split stuff. That's what I was trying to do earlier. So I'm going to try to split these shards into one, which I did. And I'm going to put the... Nope, not that. Crap. <laughs> All right, one's in my hand. 
Now I'm going to switch to the move thing, and I'm going to move this into my jabby. All right, so now I have one shard in my hand, and uh, two and or um, seven in my thing. All right, so enough of this tutorial jazz. Oh, these are things you can. I never ran, which is probably my problem. Uh, I don't. I really don't know what it does. So uh, I guess we could use it at some point. Um, hide obviously hides you. Uh, let's see. Hide tracks means if you move into an area, you can hide your tracks, so you have less potential of someone finding you or whatever. And you can spy on stuff that is in the same area, I believe. Yeah, so see, each one of these takes like a move. So up there, I had four. Our base move is, is five. Since I'm barefoot, I have four. Uh -uh. So I can use, you know, any one of these as long as it is within my movement turn threshold. And then when I'm done, I, I then when I'm out of turns, like moving to an area or whatever, then uh, I can, I have to uh, end my turn. So scavenge the area so that little uh, thing is gone since I took all the stuff that's in the area. So I'm going to go to this town. Bloop.